All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, the second part of the blog is out. This is part two of three, so we got the last part on last week. We'll probably get the next part next week, and then we'll probably get a trailer the next week. Then we'll get the game the next week. The next gen information is here. It's about the movement, the contact, the impact engine, and more. So if you don't do anything else, like the video and stay tuned because we're going to be right back right after this. Nito! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. And here we are, NBA 2K21 next gen gameplay blog. Uh, two of three movement, contact, impact, uh, impact engine, and more. And right here, oh, I forgot to turn on, bro, I forgot to turn on the dark mode. The dude gave me the dark mode and I forgot to turn it on. But it is what it is, man. We're just going to do this thing. We're going to do it raw. And I know a lot of people are at work. So we're going to read it out loud for you guys that are at work that you just got to listen. A lot of people just come and listen to the videos and they aren't able to just, they aren't able to um, to, to watch them. So, hey, here we go. Uh, here we go. Last week revealed the NBA 2K21 gameplay trailer alongside part one of three, uh, three of a three-part next-gen uh, blog. Let me see. And uh, we're just trying to jump over to stuff that we can jump over today. 2K has released part two in their latest courtside report. And uh, as gameplay director Mike Wong, a.k.a. Baluba, goes over goes over movement, contact, uh, in the impact engine, PlayStation 5 trigger controls, and much more. I don't know why they're saying PlayStation 5 trigger control. It don't matter to me. I'm going to have both of them anyway, so it's not going to matter. Anyway, here we are. Uh, where we at? Next gen movement. There's nothing more exciting. There's nothing more exciting for a developer than the arrival of a new con of new consoles. Every new generation gives us the opportunity to step back and reimagine how we can push the sports gaming genre forward. If I had to pick one aspect of gameplay, that's probably that's that oh look, of gameplay that's probably benefited. Okay, that's probably benefited the most from the uh, from the jump. Uh, to the to the next gen, the answer would probably be have to would probably have to be on court locomotion. Movement is the movement is the foundation for a solid basketball game. When uh, when that foundation isn't solid, a lot of aspects of the game fall apart. You're absolutely right about that. Uh, let me see. We we trying to see what's about to happen. I knew he was about to pass me the ball. Trays up, splash down. I knew he was about to pass me the ball. <laughs> I mean, see, let's say a lot of locomotion, a lot of that falls apart. We put a lot of resources toward improving locomotion and without the ball, oh, listen, with and without the ball. And I'm ex I'm excited to, I'm excited how far it's come, it's come to kick off one year. What the hell, Mike? I, I am excited how far it's come to kick off year one of the next generation of hoops. All right, so that's cool, man. So we're we talking about kicking off the next generation of hoops. We're talking about locomotion movement and stuff. This is one of the things that I always talk about. We talk about NBA Live. The reason that Live is not as popular, the art team is dope. The, everything that they do is dope until you start playing the game. Then when you start playing the game, guess what? The game just doesn't move the way that we want it to move. We want the game to move realistically, authentically. And that's what we want. We want good collisions. We want we want good um, ball physics. We want all that stuff, man. So let's just get right back. Let's get right back into the blog, man, and see what he's, see what he's talking about here. All right, here we go. We got uh, dribble movement. This is gonna be one of the most important things, man, because that's what people that's what people really want to go. The dribbler, the dribbler was rebuilt from the ground up. Okay, so we do got something that was rebuilt from the ground up for next gen, and the and the difference is night and day. Mm, okay, impressive. We retain we retain the concept of signature dribble styles that we introduced uh, a couple of years ago, but otherwise, you see, but otherwise everything was scrapped and re-architect, I mean, re-architect, bringing a completely different feel with the with the ball in your hands off of next gen. Additionally, protect, 
protect and post movement saw massive upgrades. Okay, that's gonna be cool. The aspect of dribbling, of dribble movement that excites me the most is the is the predictability and uh, consistency of it. Okay, so you know what moves you're gonna throw. That's cool. It's a much easier, it's much easier to go exactly where you want to on the on the floor and in and in the manner that you that you'd expect to get there. So it's much easier to go where you want to on the floor and, and in the manner in, in which you'd expect it, you'd expect to get there. That's cool. So you know what's gonna happen. You're not just gonna hit a button and he's gonna throw some dribbling move that you didn't even think he was gonna throw. So that's gonna be that's gonna be um, that's gonna be good. Let me see. No no unwanted turns or having uh, having your player facing the wrong way. No bursting no bursting up to speed or failing or failing cuts or fail cuts. It's just it just works. And because it's built, and because it's built using the same engine as the Pro Stick, uh, the Pro, Pro Stick dribble system, uh, dribble move system, most movement and moves work cohesively together. So that's cool. The players, the player speeds are, are accurate to real life, and the sense of weight feels more realistic. It's completed. It's complete. It's a complete package, and I don't think that I can overstate how much it's elevated my uh, enjoyment of playing the game. So what we're talking about is, we're just talking about the dribble moves and stuff like that and how dribbling actually ties everything together. I'm I'm happy that they're saying that you won't be going in places that you want because as a big man, sometimes, man, you catch the ball and the guy's doing this and that, and they're like, why you didn't just shoot it? Brute be like, why you didn't just shoot the ball? Damn it, Brute, I can't shoot the ball. I caught this flashy pass from you that made me do some dumb shit like this and then I turn here, turn this way. I'm trying to get this dude to stop, and his momentum has just got me flailing like a little baby. Just, uh, uh, and I, I can't do nothing. Y'all let me know if that happens to y'all a lot down in the comment section. If people, yeah, you catch a pass sometimes in the game. You catch a long pass or something. You catch a flashy pass. You catch a pass out of a bailout or something. And, and you a big, guards can catch it just fine, but big men, oh my God, it's just crazy. So I'm glad that that's going to be something I'm not going to be facing the wrong way. I'm just trying to turn my man toward the basket. He's going to be facing the wrong way. Here, this is what I want to see about right here though. Defensive and off ball. All non-dribbling movements from out, from on ball defense to off ball defense and defense is run by our locomotion engine. I mean our, our new our, our motion engine which is which is in its third year of development. Okay, that's cool. The motion the motion term, I mean the motion team has has been working tirelessly to bring a next gen improvement to to moving without the ball. Okay, that's cool. And it's both, and it both looks and feels fantastic. Here are some of the upgrades that stand out. Okay, so they say they got some upgrades for us that's gonna stand out. I got some for you that's gonna stand out. Brick, big bricks, that's what I got. <laughs> anyway, anyway, here's some of the upgrades that stands out. Unique contextual motion asset, uh, various basketball situations. Transition stops, leak out, guard break, anchor, uh, space, space perimeter, space to perimeter, bring an awareness to the look of the, uh, bring an awareness to the look of the players on the floor and give them more life. Okay, I'm always for something that make the game look more authentic, improves pathing, cutting, and stops make, make defense feel more, more grounded and feel, I mean, it fix a lot of the sliding from the previous generation. Thank goodness. Listen, improved pathing, cuts, and stops make defenders feel more grounded and fix a lot of sliding from previous generations. I'm gonna say it again like they say on Sunday. You need, I mean, improved path and cuts and stops make defenders feel more grounded and fix a lot of the slide. Cause this generation right here, this last, I hope this ain't a, uh, this is what we're feeling right now. Ain't, ain't some of it, bro. Cause this right here, what we feeling right now, this is terrible. You can't go where you want to on defense. It is incredibly difficult to do. Not that you can't master it, not that you can't play defense. It just sucks because it just really feels like you can't go where you want to go. And like my man said, you can't even cook somebody like you really want to cook them because what? They already out of your way with one move, they gone. So that's going to be dope right there. Overall improvements to the motion stability and response. Let me see. In other words, the, in other words, we smoothed out the twitchiness, and player um, and players can move more accurately following the following exactly what you're doing on the sticks. That's dope because I got sick. I mean, I'm just telling you, man. Like I said, as a big man, you want to move in position like you're trying to bait somebody to drive on you, and then you want to move in position at the last second. You just can't do it because number one, 
you might be too slow, but number two, look at that dot the ticket. Bro, look at the ball movement, man. He wants him to miss that shot and he in the paint. Stuff like that. That's what I hope is, they're going to say is gone next. But let's get back into it. Uh, let me see. Updated player size detection logic and greater um, uh, and greater emphasis on player differentiation. Bigs move like bigs and guards move like guards. This includes a lot of new animation content to support signature motion styles. I like that right there. And I'm not just talking about this shot that I just took because y'all missed that. Uh, so it just says pretty much that they updated how you move. And, and so bigs move like bigs. And we don't have everybody just, we don't have guards that are just big. We got bigs that are bigs. That's going to be dope, man, because some of the stuff that big men can do, guards can't do. Some of the movement that guards make, bigs don't make. Bigs do a lot more shuffling and going to a point. Guards do a lot of hip turning and stuff like that. So I, I think that's going to be pretty cool. Bigs do a lot of cutting people off and, and using their body while guards use a lot of their hips to stay in front of you so you don't get so you, so you see what I'm saying? So you can't go anywhere anyway. Show sure you can. So uh, let, let's 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 look up the other thing. Let's see what see what else they're talking about. Left stick taps allow allow you to play quick uh, steps. Okay, left stick taps allow you to play quick steps, which are really helpful. Uh, let's see when you when you need to make uh, when you need to make subtle adjustments to your defensive positioning. So that's cool, man. I'm glad that they got that uh, in the game. Y'all missed that. I know he. I know he mad. I know he is pissed. Cause this right here, bro, that jumping late, you should get fired up. You like like Tim De Leg to say, get that leg, get your feet on the shirt. So it says uh yeah, the left stick allows you to to uh, the left stick allows you to play quick steps, which are really helpful. I mean, what what uh, left stick taps allow you to play quick steps. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. That don't make sense, so that's why it's hard to read, which are really helpful uh when you need to make subtle adjustments to your defensive positioning. So I guess what he's saying is like as a big, you know, as a big, if you hit left or right, you're going to go all the way here or all the way there. Sometimes I just want to tap it and just cut him off a little bit, but it may not allow me to do that. So that's going to be dope right there. The fact that you can do that. I wish they would put that cutoff move back in, in um from like they had from NBA 2K16, where, you know, if the guy was driving and you knew he was going to absolutely commit here, you could tap right stick and then he would just do a sellout cutoff. But if you guess wrong, he'd go by. I always thought that was dope, man. But anyway, let's go back. Foot planting. Sliding in basketball is no good. Well, unless you're like defensive sliding. But anyway, uh, sliding basketball is no, is no good. Uh, let me see. But it's something that we've had to live with in the past because of limitations of the tech in technology. I'm happy to say that the next gen version of NBA 2K21 takes a huge leap in that department. Our engineers rewrote our foot planting tech from scratch and it uh, and it led to one of the most striking visual improvements when you when you compare the, when you compare next gen to previous generations. Players can now can now take procedural steps. Oh, that's dope. Procedural steps instead of sliding their feet um, when they when they need to make micro adjustments. I love seeing proper footwork as a, I love seeing proper footwork as players are making hard cuts, uh, accelerating stopping, even just, even just standing and making subtle movements in place. Uh, let's see, I just, it just brings, it just brings hoops, uh, 2K hoops, one more step when, I mean, one more step, see, see what I did there. Wow, my God, brings it one more step. See what I did there closer to real life. So I can't hate on that, man, because like I said, foot planning is the most important part of the game. Everybody remembers live. I think it was live 08, maybe when they showed the foot planting and how instead of just doing like this, like your foot is up off the ground when you're moving and stuff like man, there was actually foot planting. I think they had the White Howard defensive player of the year back then. And they were showing how the foot planting works and stuff like that. So I thought that was dope, man. But um. You know, I thought that was a, I thought that was a cool thing today. I'm, I think that should be a cool thing that they're probably adding, but you know, it is what it is. Up next, this is what I'm really, really wor worried about right here. These body ups. You already know what time it is. That's cash. Probably not. I got no passive reserves. Activists. Um, body ups. Let me see. Body ups. That's our internal name for the interaction between the ball handler and the defender. It. It's always a tricky balance trying to accurately model the cat and mouse game between between the offense and the defense. Our goal is our goal with body ups 
was to highlight the improvement the improvements that we that we were able to make to both dribbling and defensive movement okay so you're trying to marry the two together so that's gonna that is gonna be kind of tough right there to marry both of them things together uh i, I get it uh defensive movement to that end it means less scan less canned interaction Ooh, less canned interactions and doing better job of respecting user control i think that i think the next generation version of nba 2k strikes a balance between rewarding taking proper driving angles and uh and respecting contact uh, attempting to drive, attempting to drive head first directly into a defender. Attempting to drive head first directly into a defender will stop, will stop them in their tracks. Okay, lead, lead uh, will stop them in their tracks, lead the charges, and force pickups. When ball handlers get, when ball handlers get the hip of the defender, but the uh, but the defender matches well, it will lead to more realistic rides, uh, rides that neither player will feel stuck in okay because we already know that when you ride somebody in this game you get three steps on that ride and then the ride is over they either gonna get off of you or they're gonna pick the ball up so if it's more realistic i'm uh anything that's more realistic man i'm with it uh let me see more really and also like when people just like with, with the canned animations because like i said with the dunk on people animation it really pisses me off that the dunk on animation starts when you cross the three-point line and then you can no longer move and they're just taking off on you and they are and they're just going up so i i hate i think that's trash too but you know it is what it is uh let me see uh stop them in the tracks leading the force pickup uh you feel stuck in and and on the other extreme slow footed slow footed or slow to react defenders will be punished with uh with blow buys and if they try and if they try to force the contact too late might get hit with a hit a hit with a blocking foul thank you so you actually got to play angles in position this year you can't have you can't worry about that strong ball handlers can also hard stop hard stop out of a ride a ride and crab uh oh ride and crab defenders for more effect a more effectively so uh let me see can start more effectively so it's not always about speed when um when trying to probe let me see if i can get this up there when trying to probe into the paint the uh logic for the the logic for the for the for the types of resolution that uh play out is much more robust and makes it a, and makes and, and takes into account every little detail you can you can think of the end result is better one-on-one -on -one game uh that more accurately mirrors the nba now one thing that i will say about that is they're talking about you know more skillful ball handlers will be able to will be able to hard stop out of this stuff we had that in 2k18 man i really hope it's not the same thing where i just don't want any of this stuff to result in things that are spammable because i absolutely hate that when you got stuff like like that right now like he just went up straight into my chest i'm standing there that's a bad move but he can make it i'm, I'm not worried about it because he's probably gonna stand in the paint and uh he's just gonna hit for get hit for a game look at that quick first step Play it like that stuff like that that's good basketball he hard committed i pump fake i went out there what he did was not good basketball he turned into my chest the wrong way and went up but the thing is I just hope it's not like 2K18 where you come up the court and then you could snatch back and then it will push the person back and then all you had to do was shoot a three. And it was like, there was just little, and then like, that's a bad alley. Stuff like that. There is no collision there. I hope that, that we that we do have more collision animations to where we can stop stuff like that. I'm not worried about it because like I said, it don't really matter what somebody do. If you don't play defense, we're going to win the game. Uh, but but it's just, it's just the fact that that you can be successful or feel like you're successful doing things that make absolutely no sense on the basketball court but uh anyway off off ball contact just like the body ups we wanted to translate those those same principles off ball the motion team completely reworked the off ball contact system which now features everything everything from from let throughs incidental contact to hard collisions hope that's not something that's spammable too uh these there's a great there's a great freedom of movement when you're when you're working when you're working away from the ball, but also realistic contact when it's called for. Okay, all all with no snatching or sliding. That's dope. Uh, my favorite aspect of these collisions can be uh, can be seen can be seen in the new in the new screen interaction gone. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> can be seen in the new screen interactions gone. Are the vacuum screens yes i say yes say it again mike say goodbye 
to vacuum screens. Yes, that's gonna be the title of the video. Say goodbye to screens, baby. Gone are the vacuum screens that have plagued basketball games in the past where, defend, where, where defenders would, would get pulled into a screen collision and run in the direction that they weren't asking for. You can now, you can reject screens appropriately so that, so that I mean, you can reject screens appropriate, appropriately, go over or under as you'd expect and die and down the screen if you um, if you have a weak defender trying to barrel through it. That's when it should happen. Uh, let me see, it's a good, it all looks great, but more importantly, feels great for both the offense and the defense. So get the, so get, I mean, to get the outcomes, that make uh that makes sense in makes sense in such an important aspect of the game. That's right. If screens work the way that they're supposed to work, nobody's gonna have a problem. The only problem that people have with screens with this, people always say stuff like, hey, screens are in the game. Bro, if you set the screen here and the guy is dribbling here and he's going that way, this screen does not impact me. You can't curry slide this way and then run that way. Even if I hit the screen, I'm just gonna ricochet off it and I can come back. I'm not gonna get trapped on the screen like this dude is goddamn Jack the Ripper just got <laughs> like like that's what it's like right now. That's not gonna happen in real life. So if they've got that right, then a lot of the stuff that we complained about in the game, you know, it's gonna be good. Now a lot of other people are gonna be complaining because they're not gonna be able to get open. But hey, it is what it is. But uh, anyway, let's just get right back into it, man. This is gonna be a long video. One of the biggest challenges we face when when balancing offense and defense is contacting the paint. Ooh, here we go. As well, I mean, as as you can tell with the next gen, I mean, as you can tell with next gen, the reason I'm having trouble reading this because I'm keeping one eye on the animation out here so that like when he passing me the ball, I can um, you know what I'm saying? I can I can go out there and, and I can I can take it down so y'all can see what happens. But uh, let me see. Uh, as you can as you can tell, with next gen, we really stress the importance of respecting user control and not warping defenders into place uh, for the sake of game balance. Exactly. But it's vital to be able to it's vital to be able to have a reliable contact, um, reliable contact, especially for protecting the basketball in order to prevent bloated points, uh, bloated points in the paint. Okay, that that sounds good. For NBA 2K21 next gen, we have developed a new in air, in air contact shot system um, that will that will internal internally call that we internally call the impact engine. The goal was to completely remove the snatching that uh, that we've seen using the past the past uh, games and res and resolve collisions on the fly as players hit each other in mid air. Okay, that's cool. The impact engine. Uh, let me see. Do we got that up there? The uh, the impact engine and next gen console power gives us the the gives us the flexibility to do just that by creating a reliable contact uh, reliable contact when players are in flight. We we no longer have to take control of defenders while they're on the ground and pull them into a place uh, just to force certain outcomes. Thank God, because that stuff is annoying when they want you to get dunked on. If you're a big man, you know what I'm talking about. You standing there and you're like, okay, I'm gonna protect the paint and I'm gonna cut him off at this point. And it's like, nah, and it just snatches you to the point and you just get ah, just right in his face. Like that's, that's annoying, man. Like, as a, and then people think that you're doing like, bro, I'm not doing this. It's just making me do it. But uh, let me see the impact engine. Uh, let me see uh, to force certain outcomes. This will be, this will be more noticeable for paint defenders. Um, damn, did I miss that shot? Let me back that up. Mm, mm, mm. That boy, that shoot that thing. But this will be more. This this will be more noticeable for paint defenders as they as they'll have freedom to maneuver their player into position and make a and make a play on the ball themselves rather than the game dictating dictating what happens based on whatever animation happens to uh, happens to trigger. Thank you. So you do your animation, I do mine, and we'll see we'll see who's better. You meet me at the rim, we see who's better. The further aid paint defense, the logic that goes into the block targeting has improved, and we and we've and we're using uh, IK. So you, we know what that means that, that in, in inverse kinematics or whatever it means. Uh, IK more heavily to uh, more heavily now to get the hard to get the hand to track the ball. 
Okay, so that inverse kinematics is it's just like how they how they put it into the game where when you're dribbling the ball, you can you can put the ball in a different place so it doesn't get stolen. Uh, so that they can track the ball as well as minimizing clipping. Anytime you minimize clipping, I'm all for one of the main beneficiaries of the uh, of the new engine is of the new engine is that we now have contact alley oop. Oh my God, we now have contact alley oop and put back dunks on uh put back put back dunk ons for the first time in NBA 2K which which look sick and feel rewarding when you're when you're playing when you're pulling them off so if somebody throw the alley and you get in the way it's just going to bang on you it can bang on you i don't know how i'm going to feel about that because right now you can already kind of that already kind of happens and i don't know i don't know like well they just dunk on they don't dunk on you but you know what i'm saying like they still just dunk through you so if if, if what you're saying is the same things are going to happen but it's just going to look better i don't know how i feel about that but hey but the contact uh put back dunks ooh, i bet that's gonna be nasty hey shakedown top 10 about to be lit but uh anyway uh, on ground contact also saw major upgrades uh, specifically with the change uh, change and block files with the change in block files, I guess. Oh, oh, with the charge in block files, beating the shooter, beating the shooter to the spot, and getting set and set will yield a lot more successful charge calls on the on the uh, on the offense. While being late will give you more blocking files. That's good because I get so sick of people running out there late and just jumping at you, and then it's just like they get a they get a uh, they get a good contest instead of a blocking file. We've also added crash layups. For the situation where the shooter barrels into the into the defender, but a charge or a block aren't uh, a, a charge or a block aren't warranted, so you just drop your shoulder into somebody. That's cool. These animations will help convey the convey to the player that they are forcing the issue, and hopefully teach them to respect paint defense next time. Uh, next time they go inside, if you can't get around the defender, sometimes it's better to shoot a floater or a pull up jumper. Exactly. But this is the thing, though. Um, they tried this this time and people complain so much about paint defense defense being overpowered that that they it was just like like you know what i'm saying people complain about paint beef defense being overpowered and it was just like it just sucked it wasn't fun so i don't know how that's gonna work out but you know uh and then they then they changed it back and now paint defense is damn near non-existent so uh it is what it is but anyway uh last but not least we got the last part uh something that and, and this is the ps5 trigger effect something Something that's always excites the developer is the introduction of a new hardware, is new hardware uh, features that that come along with the new consoles. When we first heard that the PS, I mean about the PS5 adaptive triggers and haptic feedback, we immediately began brainstorming ways to use use them to enhance the the gameplay experience. Uh, as soon as we got as soon as we got our hands on the dev kits, our lead engineers. Now, lead engineer experimented with the with several different uh, prototypes to to figure out what made them what made the most sense for a basketball game. Uh, let's see, for adaptive triggers, we adopted use we adopted to use we adopted to use what? Uh, I guess we, she's trying to say we decided to use them um, to convey energy fatigue uh, energy and fatigue as as you move around the court you'll feel more and more resistance to the uh, trigger sprint as your player energy drains. What? Let me see. Uh, we also use the adaptive resistance uh, re adaptive resistance in the post game. Strong post, strong post players will feel very little resistance on the air. Oh, so you can't pull the trigger as hard. That's crazy. So you're going to have, like, you got to pull the trigger super hard. Now I understand what they're trying to say. Like, the haptic feedback like when you think haptic feedback you're thinking about the um the when you press something it i just hope people don't break their triggers and stuff some people probably just gonna turn it off so it ain't gonna matter anyway but uh let me see for adaptive trigger we adopt uh, fatigue let me see um let me see resistance on the l when backing down uh weaker opponents but when you but you'll have you'll have to use more force to um you have to use more force to pull l when you when when it's the other way around uh, let me see. So if you got a strong, so strength may matter this time. I guess is what they're trying to say. It's very intense to play with, with and helps immensely. I mean, and and helps immerse you into the uh, experience of of actually being on the basketball court. Okay, I guess. As for haptic feedback, uh, we I'm trying to make sure I, nothing was happening in that corner. As for haptic feedback, we use 
we used it to uh to to accentuate our various collision uh, our various collision uh systems box out body ups rides off ball collision uh deny rides let me see deny rides are big in the game they need to be in the game a lot more basically any situation where players make significant contact uh, will vibrate the controller. Some people turn their vibration off, so it doesn't even matter. Will vibrate the controller at um, at various intensities. Uh, at various intensities, depending on the depending on the strength of the player involved and the uh, severity of the impact. Let me see. It uh, it's it's so dope to feel the difference in your hands between grazing bump and a hard hit. So that's gonna be cool. Um, between a grazing bump and a hard hit, it's also a great reinforcement to, uh, tool to understand when you're making players work too hard on the court, which uh, which could hit their energy and stamina levels and potentially cause wear and tear on the bodies with uh, with our in-depth injury system. See, now that's some stuff I ain't even trying to hear, man. We're going to have injuries in rec games and stuff like that, bro. We're going to have injuries in the park, bro. Maybe they're just talking about like in certain modes and stuff. They got to be talking about in certain modes. And then here we go. There's so much more that happened that happened in the uh, in the engineering front uh, to raise the bar in building NBA 2K21's uh, next gen tech. But these are just the main these are just the main ones I wanted to bring to our I mean, bring to your attention uh, for today. New technology is always exciting, and I love seeing how it, how advancements in the hardware in the hardware lead to uh, advancements in the software, which then birth new gameplay features and uh, push the genre forward. Make sure to check out next week's final gameplay courtside report as it reveals details about people building, uh, pe uh, about player building badge uh, uh, badges takeover and improvements to the ai and uh that's really much all we can pretty much all we got for y'all man like i said i saw a lot of stuff in here that i like saw some things that i didn't really like I, I i don't know how it's gonna work out um i like the stuff with the movement but i just have i gotta reserve judgment because i don't know if it's gonna be one of those things where it's like do we have better animations and the system is going to trigger animations differently like you do your animation, I do mine, and then we'll make a meld together in the air. Or are we better hiding bad gameplay behind better animations? So you see what I'm saying? Are we hiding bad gameplay behind better animations? I just hope that that's not the case just because of the fact that, like if that's what we're doing, if, if I'm still gonna get moved in pos to position and banged on, but you're just making it look better, I have no interest in that. I want to, or if you're gonna still let him throw a bad alley and he's just gonna dunk on me with it and it's just gonna look good, I don't have any interest in that. I want to see he does what he does and I do what I do and at the last second, at the very last second, the game decides, you know, some type of outcome based upon position and stuff like that, like it would happen more like in real life. You do what you're gonna do, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, and at the last second, we both can try to make an adjustment, and then the game can do it. But if it's just gonna make it look better, I ain't got no interest in that. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, that's the entire blog, and um, hopefully it's gonna be a good game. Let me know if you think it's gonna be a good game, and I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak! Commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion So in that sense, I never value your two cents Hey, darn, please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn Cause I ain't buying I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga I can give a heart transplant to a giant I ain't lying, Godspeed We good